Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Okay, Q3. Uh, minimum time to collect all apples in a tree. So this one, you're given a tree, but it's not a... Well, it's an apple tree, but but you're not giving a tree data structure. And when I refresh, I was like, wow, 40 people already finished this. I'm really slow on today because um, people, you know, that that's intense. But yeah, now the first thing I do is I convert it to an adjacent C list. Um, I think one thing to note, one thing to note is that uh, it's not clear that it's a binary tree, uh, and I think I tried to be sure that it uh, doesn't seem that way. So now I just construct an adjacency list. Um, so as a reminder, if you want uh, an explanation on this problem, skip a little bit ahead uh, or click on the video that for this uh, problem specifically, and there'll be an explanation there, and let me know. But for now, I'm just gonna talk about my thought process as I, uh, as I go. Which for now, I'm just reading the problem. I just wanna make sure that I'm reading it correctly. Uh, and at this point, I'm just looking at the input just to be like, okay, let me make sure that everything's okay. But after that, I was like, okay, I could just do a depth first search. Um, and that's essentially what I, started already. Look at that game face. <laughs> uh. And I spend too much time just trying to figure out the naming for this problem, uh, for, for a helper. Uh, basically, at this point, what I wanted was, okay, given a node, what's the recursion? Well, the recursion should be some variation of, um, and, and, I, and I was trying, I mean, I knew it was going to be some sort of recursion or that for search, if you want to call it that. But I was like, okay, what are the base cases? And that's what I was trying to type out a little bit. I was like, that's not a base case. Um, and because we have uh, not a tree, not a node uh, or vertex data structure, we have to visit it. So uh, we kind of treat this almost like a general graph in that we, for our depth of search, we have to make sure that we haven't seen the, seen the node. Uh, and, and that's pretty much what we do here. And and we have a helper function of apple right, for a node. And for me, this apple node is um, for uh, this apple function just cause if this tree or its subtrees have apple, have, have any apple, then, uh, then mark that as true. So, so a better name, a better function name for this would be uh, apple in subtree or something like that. Uh, and I, you could probably calculate this with another way, but I did it with LRU cache. Um, the reason being that we know that uh, for apple, there, well, there are only n vertexes, and you want to calculate each of them at most once. So that's what I do here. And I, here, I think what I'm struggling with is coming up with a recurrence, right? I mean, the recurrence is simple. It's giving every node, look at the subtrees, and then if any of those subtrees uh, have an apple, then return true. And you could calculate that recursively because, you know, by definition, if any of your, um, uh, if any of your child, if any of your children, uh, it's true, then then go for it. 
uh, then it is true for this uh, node. The problem is that um, the problem is that I was just still trying to figure out like here, like okay, um, in this sense because it's a second depth for search, uh, like how do you maintain the the state of stuff that you've seen and you haven't seen and you can track of them together? Uh, and that's what I'm trying to do here in a really funky way. And I think that's, and then I think like halfway through, I'm like, I don't know if I could like prove that this is correct or that like it's good enough to be true. So I'm just trying to figure out how to do it here. Um, and then I was like, if I do this, it might not be, but then it might still go up the tree because or something like that. Um, well, those are the things that I'm worried about uh, when I'm doing this, just in terms of edge cases and carefulness. Uh, and here I was like, okay, we don't want to create a copy if they're in scene, just so that uh, it saves a couple of cycles. But Yeah, and I'm still trying to figure out how to use this, and I'm like, eh. I spent a lot, as you could kind of tell, I spent a lot of time thinking about how to do this, mostly be, but because I wanted to avoid, um, avoid the obvious of just creating a tree myself, and I was like, okay, if I just want to create this tree where it's a directed graph, uh, how do I go about that? All right, let's just go through a depth first search and remove the, remove the, uh, we moved the back edges up, upwards, uh, starting from zero. So that's what I did with the call of this step for search. Uh, it's a little bit terrible naming, uh, but during the contest, I was just like, okay, just get it done. You spend a lot of time on this. Um, and basically, you could see that for every node, uh, we moved the back edges that are coming back from this or to this edge, uh, and that's what I do. A couple of things is that you know this. There's a typo, uh, and also we're using this. So I was like, okay, actually, I could probably just convert it to a set, uh, which I do in a second after I fix this code. So the recurrence is right, and maybe that's a problem today in general. I feel like I got all the algorithms pretty quickly and pretty correct at the end, uh, but my implementation is just is just off today. Uh, which I guess maybe you, you just have one of those days sometimes. Um, yeah, and now I, I do spend, um, and yeah, I noticed that I used the wrong function in there, but yeah, I spend too much time on this in general uh, because here I should have been able to submit if I was correct. Uh, there's no set, so uh, yeah, I have to change the function name, okay. But now maybe I should have been able to submit if I was, um, accurate, but if I get maximum depth recursion, which is actually, I think, a blessing in disguise because uh, for a hundred thousand, actually, I think if this didn't, if I didn't have an, in a weird way, if I didn't have an infinite loop, um, I would have gotten a wrong answer because of the uh, recursion depth because I forgot to think about it, uh, and now I'm just copying the the case from before because uh, I was like, oh, actually, and it's. It was a reminder, like I knew that it wasn't going to solve my issue, but, I, but it was a reminder that um, n is 10 to the fifth or 100,000, so I need to do this thing anyway, otherwise it's not going to make it. Uh, I just chose some really big number. It actually doesn't really matter what the number is as long as it's bigger than what you need, uh, because at some point it would crash uh, without memory anyway, so then like, yeah, for competitive programming, it doesn't matter. I guess it's maybe a better way of saying it because it just wants our memory before it wants our stack. Uh, but yeah, but now I'm like, wait, why? Why is this not working? The, see if you can spot this bug. That took me a couple of minutes. Um, and I commented that out just in case so that, well, just so that printing is a little bit easier. Uh, and I was like, okay, this is definitely going back and forth. So the definitely, now it's like, okay, wait. Uh, what is wrong with this? Well, the thing is that you keep on calling itself. I ran it again. Uh, still the same thing. And I was like, oh, why? Do I have another bug? Yeah, I do have another bug. See if you can spot that one too. Uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, so in general, uh, yeah, I mean, there'll be an explanation later in the, 
yeah, if you click forward in the in the links below. But that's kind of the my thought process for this problem. Uh, Yeah, after printing that out, I'm like, oh, this doesn't print at all because we don't call it at all. So that's the bug. That took me a couple of minutes. So just a lot of silly uh, implementation things that uh, actually when I ran the code, I was like, oh, I'm surprised that this actually... Uh, I'm, I'm just surprised that this actually uh, ran. And I put back the recursion limit. And that, I mean, I'm, I'm also surprised that this just ran the first try kind of after that because I just struggled a lot. Uh, so I submit and two. Q3, minimum time to collect all apples in a tree. Um, yeah, I, I end up taking 10 minutes on this one. I should have been faster. Uh, so for this one, given an undirected tree, you have zero. Uh, also, I, I, I was just a little bit careless today, I think, or a little bit off it happens we have off days and you know because i because yeah i mean we have off days because i think i just have like little weird things like here i spent some time debugging the fact that um yeah i just had i just had to debug um i just had issues debugging that dfs i, I just forgot to call this and because everything was uh, depending on that part, it took a long time to debug. But yeah, to actually explain the problem again, uh, minimum time to collect all apples in a tree. So for this problem, the, act, the way to solve it is, uh, I mean, the, the way I solved it more specifically, I did a deferred search or breadth search. Uh, I mean, I did a deferred search. You could use a breadth search to, to get an ordering of the tree. Uh, and what I did is that I just make sure that the tree only goes one way. And once I have that, uh, basically, you're given almost like an actual tree where you could only go downwards. Uh, with the, so, because before that, you may go into infinite loops, which I did. Uh, so for that, we we look at well recursively for each node. What is this saying, right? For each node that you're given, uh, for each edge going outside that node, um, if that edge leads to an apple, go down that edge. So that's what the two is for, because you need uh, two, one to go down and then another to come back up. And then, you know, you just do that part recursively. Um, and then the apple is just uh, a deferred, a quick uh, deferred search as well, um, where, um, I guess I could, have done, I could have done this recursively, but I did it with LU cache because I was, a little bit lazy, um, but you could actually prove that you could just do one recursive in the be recursion in the beginning. But but basically, it's uh, this apple is not the same as the input apple. My my apple method is just to calculate whether this node and well, sorry, this node or its subtrees uh, have an apple. Because if this node or any of the subtrees or or children or whatever has apples or has one apple even, then we have to visit this node. That's what this function is saying. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and because I memorized it, uh, this is going to be linear because uh, we only calculate once for each, uh, for each node. And here, it's a similar thing because we're doing, this is actually a deferred search. So yeah, and this is deferred this is just to give me an ordering because it removes the back edges going upwards. Uh, and I do that recursively and that's why I changed to a set. Um, not sure why I took 10 minutes on this one, but I think I was just being a little bit careful. And I, and I was a little bit silly with the depth research, so I just didn't call and I was printing things out trying to figure that out. Uh, yeah, so it's been a while since I did one of these um, code reviews. So let's actually do a couple of code reviews and see where I can learn because I definitely did not Solved this uh, contest very well. I end up at 175th or so.
Uh, okay. Q3. What was my Q3? Oh yeah, that's the tree one. Uh, okay. No, this is way too long. This is better. Yeah, so I think I actually noticed this, be, uh, and I didn't mention this because I didn't do it that way. But because it is a tree, it is good enough that when you do a depth first search, um, that you don't go up the tree. And what I mean by that is that, and what I mean by that is it's good enough to just keep track of your parent. So, and then not go to your parent, uh, so that you always go downwards. Uh, so that's a common recursion thing. But, uh, but unfortunately I wasn't able to uh, remember that one. I guess it's been a little bit and I need more practice on that one. Uh, but I mean, I did something else which is okay, but not, not great. Um, but yeah, but same idea, same idea except I, my implementation is bad. Uh, so I did learn that I could do that. So that's kind of a cool thing to learn uh, or relearn. I, I think I used to do it, but I, I don't know. Today implementation is not my skill, uh, and a lot of people you see are doing the parent trick. Um, Yeah. Yeah, okay. Could have done it that way as well. I should have, yeah. There are a couple of ways I could have done it. I did it a silly way. Uh, and yeah, and this is wow, they're really short. And yeah, that makes sense actually. instead of using non-local or something. <laughs> yeah. 